All right, YouTube, we are ready to start doing the flares, flare connections, and then we'll do flare connection up top. Over there, you can see it. And after that, we'll connect the electrical. So now I'm going to use this deburring tool to get rid of all the you see this sharp edge you don't want that on your flare I probably cannot see it well so let me try to get the camera close so see the sharp edge we're going to use this deburring tool to fix that see how clean this is now all right so now we can flare this right so i'm using this flare tool it's an oscillating flare tool what that means is as you rotate this it has a clutch but basically the cone goes round it doesn't stay in the center it's not a f it goes around so you can see how the cone moves as you rotate it all right so you place it and of course <laughs> of course we forgot the flare nut All right, guys, so here is our flare nut. We're gonna take it off. Okay, and there was this little copper thing in there, making sure that the, there is no air and dirt coming into that port. Okay, so always use this factory flare nut. It's almost ready. All right. Put your flare nut on. This is the third attempt. Now with the flare nut. <laughs> okay. And so once we put it on, the flare should be tight inside the flare nut and you should have almost no space around it. So once again, this is a clutch mechanism. Once it's done, it won't be able to rotate anymore. Okay, it's a bad flare. See how it ripped? Probably put too much out. So I have to cut some more insulation. Let's start over. All right. So it's pretty clean over there. Just make final clean out. So keep a one-eighth of an inch sticking out. Perfect. Okay. Clean it, make sure there is no no uh, no shavings of copper in there nothing like that okay now let's do 
the second one. So when you're cutting the insulation, don't go all the way through because you will cut the copper. Just do the surface. Make sure you don't touch the copper with your knife. And so we can get this one out of the way for now. And so what I do next is just with the tip of my knife, I remove the what the deburring tool did not remove. Just be very careful with it and cut it. And I'll show you there is a piece of copper sticking out of it that makes sure no dirt or air goes into the valve. V8s. Again, just one eighth of an inch sticking out, no more, but no less either. And let the clutch and the flare tool do its magic. It's gonna stop when it's done. Okay, see? Click. Click. Okay, perfect. And now we're going to do the same thing up over there. 